Hi, I'm building another arcade machine and I'm going to use plans from classicarcadecabinets.com and I thought I would do a, a video series showing how I make it so that you can pick up some tips along the way. I uh, chose to use plans from Classic Arcade Cabinets because they have lots of plans but they also have um, good designs on their PDFs and uh, AutoCAD files so you've got lots of options of how you work with them. Now I'm going to be building an Atari uh, Tempest Dig Dug Centipede style cabaret so I'm just going to search for that So this brings up a list and we have Tempest, Cabaret, Centipede, Dig Dug. They're all pretty much the same. Now I'm going to, I'm working from Tempest and Tempest also has this nice picture. But all three cabinets are pretty much the same design. So as we look at what we've got on the page, it gives you a rough idea of what you need to build it. Gives you some pictures of the actual builds. You have the V-carve drawings if you can work with those. But these are the files that we're looking for. So we have the printable files and the DXF files. The printable files uh, is a one-to-one -one side of the cabinet. So I've opened this up in, in the PDF viewer, um, but we really want to be using the actual PDF application rather than the online viewer. But this gives us a good view of what it is that we're going to work with. We can see the outlines. We have a rough idea of where the supports need to be, of where the screen goes and the control panel. I'm just going to come back. And then we also have the DXF file. Um, there are quite a few ways that you can view the DXF file. But I found using Autodesk, we can upload the DXF file that we, down, that we can get from the website. So let's download the DXF. Just drag and drop it into the Autodesk viewer. And here we have the same layer that we saw in VCarve. So we can we can use this um, in whatever software that you want to use. You could import it. You could do whatever you want to do. I tend to just take a few references from here. We already have the side. Uh, so what we need to do now is what is the actual width? If we go to measure distance. We can pick the edge and we see here that the width of the cabinet should be 19 inches. So we can pick out all the, all the dimensions that we want from here and use it however you want to use. So that's totally free and it's really quite easy to use if you want to work that way. I personally just want to print this side out, print it on the side of the cabinet, trace it and then cut the wood as I want to. So you've got a few options. Now if we go back to our PDF, I want to open it with Acrobat Reader rather than viewing it in Chrome. And the reason I want to do that is because we can go to print and within here we can choose to print as a poster and then we can print out that full sheet onto whatever size paper that you've got. So you can print it out on A4, it gives you cut marks and it numbers all of the pages. I tried it, I didn't particularly like it. I don't know if it was just my cheap laser printer, but uh, not everything lined up properly. But that is one way that you can do it. You can just print that out, stick it onto the wood, lay it out, spend a bit of time getting it right, uh, and away you go. But what I did was I sent this away and I got a local print company called Cycle Print Works to print it full size 
in black and white on, a, on their cheapest sheet of paper. And it wasn't expensive, it was about £10. And then I went and picked it up, and then I've actually got the physical size of the cabinet on a printout. And then as you'll see later on, I glue it to the side of some MDF, and I use that as a template to use a router to cut out all the sides for the cabinet. And then I can use that again to reproduce those sides as many times as I want. So that is where we get our plans from. Those plans basically are the same for any kind of cabinet that we've got on here. Some of them have more information than others. So you can pick and choose and you can find any kind of cabinet and then using those basic techniques, print out the template, make it, make it out of wood and then just make the sides using that, figure out the width of the cabinet and then uh, measure all the parts and cut them if you want or as you'll see me do later on, just basically measure the sides and, and cut them as you want to. The classic arcade cabinets is really good. They have lots and lots of games uh, on here, pinball. Um, let's have a look at just like a Capcom. So that uh, I believe is just like the generic cabinet, Dynamo. So you have all the all the plans for doing that. You could print the side out again. You could look at the DXF file and basically reproduce what I'm doing, but just using those plans instead. So I hope that's helpful and that you'll find this interesting and you'll you'll look at what I'm doing. Um, I'm sticking to the cabarets because I like the smaller cabinets. Doing wood grain on the sides with some vinyl is really easy and cheap. And um, they just look nice. I, I just don't have much space. So it works well for me. And I had a 19 inch monitor that, uh, that can go in there. And um, eventually I think I'm going to put in a Karate Champ. But I'm going to do it as a jammer cabinet to start off with. So that it will take anything that's a vertical game. And then I will convert my jammer with a, with a fingerboard so that uh, it will go into this cabinet. So the next video will be working on the template and uh, we'll carry on from there. So hopefully you'll carry on watching and you'll find this interesting.